Dude. <laughs> my name's Eric Valkenar, or as my wife calls me, Little Elmer. <clears throat> it's my sister, Lisa Valkenar. We also have a brother, Lou Valkenar, but he's working today. He sends his regards. You know, on All Saints Day, we couldn't commemorate All Saints Day without including our own St. Elmo. And while our words in our uh, presentation is short, they say a picture is worth a thousand words and you'll probably even see more. So. I like that one. <laughs> um, anyway, many of you know um, my dad is St. Elmo, but probably don't know how he got that nickname. Um, but back in the 1970s, he was a teacher and a coach at the Mount Angel Seminary High School. Um, he was the only non-Catholic on the hill, so the priests scrambled up the, the name of a saint for him so that he would have feel like he belonged more. <laughs> And it stuck. <laughs> it's been St. Elmo ever since. Um, one quality that makes it fitting for dad to be called a saint is his courage. 25 years ago, almost to the day, dad had the courage to go into treatment for his uh, addiction to alcohol. He didn't want to go into treatment. He was really angry with the family for setting that up for him but he persevered, he went through it, and he beat his addiction um, and hasn't had a drop since, uh, even through times of adversity. So, way to go, St. Elmo. He's always displayed a quiet perseverance and courage I never really heard him complain when he lost a job or he was scared or anything. He just went out every day and went through. Well, you know, oh my gosh, yeah. That was one of his business suits. <clears throat> I don't know what business he was in, monkey business, I guess. Um, he had a strong worth ethic and he never complained. Um, he stayed out of God's way. So we're all saints but, he's saints, but he stayed out of God's way so it could come out more. Um, oh, and he was Santa Claus, too. Sorry. His helper. So anyway, you mentioned that. So what I thought of as the legacy of St. Elmo was his humor, his ability to make people feel special, uh, to give guidance through teaching and coaching, I think he started the soccer program at Silverton High many years ago, and to show compassion to those in need. So uh, we love him. And that's it. We'll show the rest of the pictures if there are any. <clears throat>